This I wanna nail sports to the one Top blog out of the YouTube channel No matter which sports here we got it covered Subscribe and hit the notification bell What's up my wonderful peeps? Sports to the bone here again man Shout out to all the viewers, subscribers and the followers Big up on yourself My viewers and subscribers I don't know how many persons Would have watched that game just now Between India and Pakistan I must say it was indeed a good watch. You understand? Now, Pakistan, they destroyed India. One of the most anticipated match of the World Cup, you can see, my viewers and subscribers. It was basically one-sided. So, we're going to go through quickly, take a look at all the individual performances and look at how things went generally. But before we go down into that, as per usual, just go ahead and get that golden rule out of the way which is to hit that subscribe button leave a like and drop a comment so yeah one more viewers and subscribers afridi baba razam and mohammed rizwan they totally destroyed india you know to get their campaign up and running yes my viewers and subscribers i must tell you if you didn't see that game you need to go and check out the highlights so once again you know we see the team batting last being able to win um a, a game over there in the uae i mean it, it was indeed it was indeed a good performance from pakistan no india they batted first and they got 151 for seven and i must say that it was it was it was commendable that they were able to get that far you understand after losing so many wickets so early shine shah afridi he blew them away he blew away the top order quickly you understand? He really picked them back, my viewers and subscribers, and put them on the back foot. You know, but as I said, you can know the hearts of champions. You can know players that are mature in their thinking and understand the game. Because even when the team is on the back foot, you will find one or two players coming in and saying, all right, this is the way that we go about it. Maybe we were planning to let Raul and, and Roy Sharma go out there and just beat the ball all over the place. You understand? But that didn't happen. We lost three early wickets. We lose three early wickets. So let us settle down and shepherd and bat through the middle overs. That is exactly what we saw from them. Now, as I said, Shine Shah Afridi, he really, really did some damage early up. You understand? We're talking about India 1 for 1, 6 for 2, and 31 for 3. That, that sort of really pushed the, the Indians on the back foot. You know, we know there's a lot of spectators in the ground. You understand, mostly Indian supporters. But the Pakistan players and their fans, they were pumping right throughout the game from start to finish. You understand, KL Rahul, he was bowled for three. Roy Sharma, he got trapped in front for, without scoring. Um, Sir Kumar Yadav, he went for, I think he was about 11. Afridi took him far. You understand? It took an effort from Virat Kohli and Richard Pant to really set the things down. You know, and that's what I'm saying that it, it, it took the effort of a young player and the captain to just come in and basically said, hear what? We are going to set up shop. We're going to rotate the strike. When the boundaries come, then we'll pick the boundaries. But we are going to make sure that we do not get bowled out for under 100. And we're going to make sure that, hear what? We are going to battle these 20 overs. And that is exactly what they did after such a poor start. So from 31 for 3, they went on to get 84 for 4 when Pant was removed for 39. You understand? Uh, 30 deliveries. The way in which he got out, I, I think he's going to be a bit disappointed with that. You understand? You know, really skied the ball. So, but but he, he helped to, to settle things. I remember that he's one of the younger players in the team and he helped to settle things down. Coley, or oh, Virat Coley, my viewers and subscribers, even when Pant went, he continued out there and he really did his thing. He was able to rotate the strike, pick up the ones and the twos, get the boundaries when, when possible. You understand? He and um, Coley and Jadeja, they were both there trying to sort a revive thing. But Jadeja, I think he, he didn't last long. I think he went for, for um, 12 or something like that. Yeah, man, he went for 12. You understand? So they, they made their way up to 125 for 5. You understand? And that soon became 133 for 6 when Virat Kohli was finally removed. 
you know, he, he was beaten by a beautiful slower bouncer. You understand? Slow ball bouncer. But um, ball basically rolled off the, the, the bat and went through to be taken by the keeper. You understand? But by this time, he would have already brought up his half century. So he was removed for 57 or uh, 49. You understand? So that is what you call a real captain's knock when your team is up against the wall. Your team is back against the wall. You, 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 in over number, in over number eight, nine, ten, there about. You know, as a captain, you decide that here what? If I come in early, say for example, I come in at over number three or four, as a captain, you come through, you bat through the innings, man. Say if you can bat um up to up to number up to over number fifteen, sixteen, there about. Then you see how you how you can take it. You know, you know you are good at rotating the strike. You rotate the strike when the boundary bar comes. You, you hit it, and that is exactly what he did. You know, so you find that the, this was a good, good score, my viewers and subscribers, in the end. You understand, getting 151, coming back from something like that, I must admit, it was a good score. And, you know, it, it, it's just that Pakistan, they were really good. So it, it, it just looked as if the, the score was, was, wasn't too good at all. You understand, and um, it, man of the match was actually Shine Shah Freedy. He got three for 31 off his four overs. You know, he was helped by Hassan Hali, who got two for 44 off his four overs. So, viewers and subscribers, I, I, I must say that Pakistan, they really, really gave India the shock of their life. They gave India the shock of their life. Not only with the bowling, but when it comes on to the batting, because they did not lose a wicket to hit off that runs. They easily chased down the 151, as I said, without losing a wicket. So let's just look at the at the at the at the batting from Babar Azam and um and 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 uh Mohammed Rizwan. Because those are the only two players that got a chance to bat. So Babar Azam, he showed exactly why he's ranked as the number two batsman in the world. You could see the class and the elegance. The man played a flawless innings, my viewers and subscribers. He was just so cool and calm and collective. You know, he ended up getting 68 or 52. So he opened up and he stayed there to the end to shepherd his team. That is what you want. You want people that will score runs, people that are dependable to bat early and use up most of the overs. You understand? This man right here showed exactly why he's rated so highly. Now, Rizwan. Not to be underestimated or, 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 or not to be shocked off. Rizwan, he was outstanding too. He probably could almost say he was even more outstanding than, than the skipper. He got 79 of 55. You understand? He really spanked the bowlers. Shami especially got some licks and some rough treatment in the latter part of the innings, you know? Yeah, man, he bowled 3.5 overs and, and went for 43. I think at one point in time, Rizwan took him for about three consecutive fours. Hit him all over the place. You know, Boomer, as per usual, you know, just being there and there about, you know, three overs for 22 runs. Chakavarti, a man that is usually very economical, you know, he wasn't able to help them today at all. You know, we know that Rizwan isn't the worst when it comes on to playing spin. Baba Razam does his thing also. He got his four overs out of the way, you know, and he went for 33. J Ravindra Jadeja, another man that is a very, very good spinner of the ball. He got his four overs out of the way and went for 28. So you see that all of the bowlers basically went for some runs, especially Shami. You understand? So that is actually how that game went down. So Pakistan winning the game by 10 seal wickets. You understand that right there I must say was a big big shock. I wasn't looking, I wasn't, I wasn't thinking that Pakistan would have would have won the game or even won it that big. You know, so that is it. When it comes on to cricket, you know, you, you don't know. But I, I there's something that I want to point out. The, 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 the game was played on the same pitch that West Indies played on yesterday. Lost a couple of early wickets um in there that is just like how we did. But what? You found that two players came together and anchored down. Didn't play any careless shot. Richard Pan played about two careless shots. One of them ballooned up in the air but fell short of the feeler. And then the second careless shot is the one that he got out. They just played the ball on the ground, rotated the strike, 
because they, they, they came in early. So there was a whole lot of overs to bat. So they just rotated the strike, anchored down and made sure that the team got a respectable total. And, you know, even though at the end Pakistan was able to really go out there and hit and, and get the runs off without even, even losing a wicket, it just goes to show that, you know, it is always important to use your brain when you're playing the game. But we're going to leave this one right here for now. Sports to the bone. Keeping you informed. Please remember to like, share, leave us a comment. If you have not yet subscribed, please go right ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm out. Big up on yourself.